Good evening, everybody. In high school football, Kirksville starts its season Saturday night against Salem. And after last week's scrimmage, the Tigers head coach Jeff Jacobs thinks his team is on the right track. Well, we're still young, uh, but they're, they're getting better. Um, they're going to make young mistakes. A uh, good thing about it, though, is they're starting to grow together as a unit, and they're starting to communicate a lot better up front. Most area teams played in Jamborees last Friday. The coaches have had a couple of days to break th things down and correct the mistakes, but for the most part, it was a positive experience. Offensively, we still got some things to work on. Uh, it was good to go up against a couple of different teams, a couple of different defenses to see, you know, see what we got. Uh, but defensively, I thought we played really well. You know, we, we moved around well. We, we um, rallied to the football, and, and we made some big plays defensively. Our confidence level is very high. I mean, we have, it's been several years since I've seen a Putnam County team walk on the field and be that confident. We walked with a little swagger about us as we was walking off the field. It's not equal reps, but it was pretty fair reps to get a look at everybody and get everybody a chance to play. So um, if you got things rolling for a minute and then you sub down a little bit, that's just the way uh, it, it, it's always worked in a jamboree. I've always tried to get everybody in there. I want to get take a look at everybody. I like to get the ball to everybody. The teams in Iowa will start for real next Friday. One squad that will be fun to watch is Fairfield. The Trojans averaged 35 points in its last five games. The entire backfield is back, and they are a threat to score from anywhere on the field. We're pretty athletic, and I think our skilled, skilled kids, excuse me, are our, our strength. Um, and, and again, our challenges are to come up with uh, you know, some kids that can play up front on the offensive and defensive lines. In college football, the Truman State football team is gaining street cred. The Bulldogs received some votes in the first Division II football coaches poll of the year. It's the first time they have received votes in the poll since 1995. Truman State will scrimmage Saturday afternoon at 3.30. Iowa will start its season against Northern Iowa in 13 days. The Hawkeyes just might have the best group of tight ends in the country. Well, we play so many multiple tight end groups that uh, they'll all be they'll all be in there, and they all can they all can play different spots. You'll be able to see the Chiefs' final preseason games on KTVO CBS, including Thursday night's contest with Minnesota. It will kick off at seven o'clock. The Kirksville golf team should be favored in most of their meets this year. The Tigers won districts last year, and they finished sixth at state. Their top two golfers return. And that should keep them close in most meets. The meat of our team is back and we'll be able to perform as well, hopefully better than, than they did last year. And um, Emily Van Rie and Serena Berry and um, showing our two new freshmen kind of the ropes. And uh, Nikki Snyder's uh, been through the grind as well. 